I know you guys always hear your songs on Heart and Soul, don't you? Yes, we do. Thank you so much, Heart and Soul. Thank, yep. you, thank so, you so, so much. You can hear Grapevine or I mean, any of them. If you I can't believe it's been 25 years. How many millennials in the audience tonight? Woo! How many grown folks that remember Brownstone in the building tonight? <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> I love me some brownstone. I oh couldn't my even goodness! Lie. Thank you. The harmonies, like Cayman was saying, the, the harmonies, something about just, woo! It gets all in your bones when you hear how you guys' voices blend together. It was amazing. It was. It's almost like how siblings' voices kind of blend. Yes. That's you know, amazing that we you really. I mean, yep. it. It was just like it came together. We didn't have to work hard at it. It was just something that naturally flowed. When we recorded, it was just magical to me. Yeah, it sounded magical too. And Thank you know, you. And how, how did the whole Michael Jackson record label come to be with you guys being well, the first? Well, we were catching a bus and Michael Jackson rolled by and was like, y'all look like y'all need a ride. Remember that corny story we used to tell? <laughs> oh God, are you serious? <laughs> no, but the, the real story is just opportunity and preparation meeting. You know what I mean? It was a wonderful um, experience to be on Michael Jackson's label. Who, who comes from Detroit? LA. LA and South America yeah, and together. gets the opportunity to meet Michael Jackson and for right. him to give us a record deal. So that was amazing. We actually got a, 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 a publishing deal first uh -huh. as songwriters. And it's a long story. Hopefully someday we'll do a Brownstone docu that'll tell it all. But I ended up getting stranded in the desert. No. Mimi came to pick me up. Had oh, to go get her. Story. She had to come get me in the middle of the night because Maxie was going to do this video for this guy. And I got stranded in the desert. And I was crying, Mimi, I need somebody to come pick me up. And the guy was like, you know what? I feel so bad that we left y'all in the desert. I want to introduce you to this guy, Barry Kolsky, who's a publisher. So we went up and met Barry, and Barry dismissed us, right? He sure did. He was like, uh, not really what we're looking for. And on the way out the door, talk about opportunity and preparation, we met Linda and Marla. Linda and, Marla. and luckily we had music. We had songs that were already written and they loved it and said, you know, I have somebody I want you to meet. Jerry Greenberg, who is the president of Michael's label, MJJ. Wow. And I mean, literally, we got together as a group in March. We had a deal by August. Come it on. It was amazing. With Michael Jackson. Like, but we with put Michael in the work. We yeah. worked all the time, yeah. And Jerry was like, I got, and we didn't know until we got our deal, basically that it was a Michael Jackson thing. Oh, really? You know, to the end. So, well, I mean, we went and sang for Jerry. He was like, oh, this is amazing. We need to make a few calls, whatever. And I'll never forget the day that Maxi, rest in paradise, was like, Nikki, we got the deal. And you'll never, it's Michael Jackson's label. I'm like, girl, quit lying. It was early in the morning. I'm like, whatever, don't play with me. Because we didn't know what MJ, like, we didn't right, know what yeah, that was. Right. Yeah. And it was Michael. And the rest is nothing but divine order and God. Wow. So why now the reunion? Because I was excited to see it, you know, because I always love me some brownstones. So why well, the reunion? Yes. Because it's necessary. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe that people still love real music. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Love the sound of real music. Love the tone and the grit and, and, and the realness of it when, from the words, you know. And it's not to, to slight anybody or to step on anybody, but... It's necessary because there is a sound that needs to be back in the atmosphere, and I believe Brownstone has that sound. Wow. Yes. Now, is yes, there Lord. another member? Okay, so here's the thing. Okay, so okay. We, we mentioned uh, Tisha has actually been a member of the group since 2007. Okay. So, yeah. Yes, indeed. So life happens. As we become grown women, a lot of things happen, and we know that people want that Brownstone legacy they want that brownstone music. They want that sound. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to rebrand ourselves as women in as general. Women. Coming together in harmony. We have the first album Mimi sang on, the second album Kina sang on, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we're rebranding. And for the first time ever, uh -oh. we are going to introduce you to a person who is amazing. She is New Orleans' own, and she's going Nola's to be joining us. Nor Anybody from New Orleans in the building? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Miss Erin Jackson. Erin. 
Erin Jackson. Hey, That's Miss Jackson hey. if you're nasty. Jackson. Oh, say what, y'all? Hi, Erin. Hello, girl. And Erin is um, a part of something that we're branding now called the Brownstone Experience. So when we go to our live, when you see our live shows, which is on fire, so we want to see y'all. We hope to see you guys Saturday night <laughs> at Tomorrow 9 o'clock. We're going to introduce you to the Brownstone Experience, which is all of us in an amazing band. And that's what we're going to say. We're not going to say anymore. You have all to. All I have to do. That, that's it. What? One other thing, which is our <laughs> bass player. Our bass player fire. is Beyonce's own, honey. So no. we're ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're talking about a show. I'm serious. I'm not tooting our own horn, but toot toot be <laughs> <laughs> If All you, you have to be there tomorrow night, the we Brownstone have, we, Experience. And teach, we have so much fun rehearsing. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, even at rehearsal, it is the most amazing thing. We stop and like, this is amazing and fun. If it were me and my girls, we would be jamming to every single song. <laughs> wow. So it's something that you definitely have to experience, the Brownstone And experience. you know if she's singing with Brownstone, she can sing her face. I was about off. to say, she's got to be able to sing. No, 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 no. Yeah. Wow. It. Now, it. being the newest member of Brownstone, when you found yourself singing these songs, these amazing songs, did you have to pinch yourself like, wow, I, I'm, I'm doing Brownstone stuff? Listen, anytime you sing anything from the Brownstone catalog, you feel a certain weight. Okay. You're connected to every single record. It makes you remember where you were at that oh, moment. Oh, yes, Lord. Right. And You're right. being part of Brownstone was, it, I mean, when, when Nikki says preparation meets opportunity, it was that in my life, too. Wow. And it was just a great environment, great vibe, sisterhood, sisterhood, talented women who are mothers and wives and just women who want to bring great music. Yeah. And mm. Nikki hates when I tell this story, but I kind of felt like she did coming into the group. When I first met Nikki, I was actually doing a production. And someone called me and said, hey, I have this table reading. Bring, you know, I want you to come and read this script for this part. And I'm like, cool. And at the bottom of the script, I see it says, Nikki... Nikki uh, Gilbert. And so I, I'm like, mm, it can't be Nikki Gilbert from Brownstone. You know, and I kind of blew it off. When she walked in the room, honest to God, true story, she, she'll tell you, I've never been starstruck. I had been on stage with everybody from Billy D. Williams to Tashina Arnold. Like, that's what I did. But when she walked in the room, I spazzed <laughs> out. Like, true story, she had to chase me out of the room like, are oh, you I'm okay? I'm like, no, you don't know who you are. <laughs> Like, you're Nikki, like, the Nikki from Brownstone. Like, are you serious? Like, it was a whole situation. Like, oh. almost fainting, pass out, everything. Yes. <laughs> this right here, here. <laughs> this right here, me being, okay, I'm not going to get emotional right now. No. Whew. This moment is so special. Yeah. 25 wow. years. 25, wow. 25 years. years.